On this episode of OBD for Everyone, we're going to be using an inexpensive OBD scanner and an app called OBD Fusion to find out why our check engine light is on. The check engine light is on this 1999 Nissan Altima, so I want to find out why. I've got my OBD scanner plugged in, the engine is running, and I have connected my Samsung tablet to the OBD scanner. The first thing I want to do is come here and start OBD Fusion. And from here I'm going to touch connect. Try the different protocols to connect to this vehicle. From here I'll go to diagnostics, I'll say yes. And now it's going to retrieve our trouble codes. We've got two confirmed and one pending. The first code is a P0325, which is some issue with the NOx sensor circuit. The next code is a 1402, which is manufactured defined, meaning Nissan has defined what that code means. With the trouble codes, if the second digit is a zero, it is defined by SAE, and everybody knows what that means. If the second digit is a one, it's manufactured defined, and we actually have to do some research to understand what that means. So in this case here, we will make a note of the codes and either go to the factory shop manual to understand what they mean or do a Google search of the code and the make and model and year of the car. Now let's talk a bit about this pending. What does pending mean? For most check engine lights, the fault has to occur twice before the check engine light comes on. If it happens once, it is a pending code. And this is actually quite interesting. This is where we can tell when a check engine light is about to come on. If the fault has happened once, there's a good chance it may happen again. And that's what that pending code is. Now normally at this point, everybody's very anxious to clear the codes and turn off that check engine light. That's a really bad idea. If we clear the codes now, we erase a lot of valuable diagnostic information and we will fail emissions. Let's have a look for this car and see what freeze frame data is captured. We'll touch freeze frame right here. Here's a freeze frame data for the code P1402. It tells us the vehicle speed, 62 kilometers, engine RPM, uh, coolant temperature being 57 degrees Celsius, meaning the engine was still warming up. And that can be useful in troubleshooting. When we look at these different sections, we really don't get an overall picture. One thing I love about OBD Fusion is this report. I'll say yes. What I really like about OBD Fusion's diagnostic report is it takes a lot of these different elements, our mode six data, our freeze frame data, and it puts it all together in one nice report. I'm going to store that. And then I like to sort of share that and I'm going to email that to myself. Okay, and that report will get sent out. Let's come here and have a look at freeze frame. And again, that's the same freeze frame that we were looking at before. Again, vehicle speed, 62 kilometers per hour, etc. Perfect. And if we come down here to our mode six, the tricky thing about mode six is it's very useful, but the information can be very difficult to decode. However, I'll share some tips with you on how to do that. We'll touch back and back. And that's how you read the trouble codes behind your check engine light with OBD Fusion. Mm -hmm.